I, I am most grateful to my partner for taking over the latest PI case. You can conquer our client's mystery as I conquer my fear. By dressing like that? Some say you must become what you fear most. So as for me becoming a clown, I will hopefully put myself in a position to understand that a human heart beats even beneath the most horrific mask of grease paint. Clowns can bring joy and laughter, and I will do my best to spread delight at the carnival. Excuse me. He means well. Whatever. Just hope it doesn't hurt him so. Let's look on the bright side of things. We don't have to go to the carnival, because I really do have to work. Okay. You want some help? I don't... Do you want to help me work a case? You don't believe me? No. I... Of course I believe you. I... Perfect. I actually like the idea of giving you orders. Okay. The client... Drake Black, he engaged McCall and Jackal to do surveillance on his business partner, Deidre Evans. He thinks that maybe she could be in a little bit of trouble. At least this isn't a cheating spells case or anything like that because that's so overboard. What, what, kind, of, what kind of trouble? Um, well, there are unexplained phone calls absences that are unexplained could be that she's being blackmailed or giving away top secret information you know stuff like stuff like that but he's given me all of her credit card information and, and, and stuff so if anything comes up we are definitely gonna Oops. everything Whew. okay this is good. There's been a new charge. She just booked a room at the Metro Court. I don't know why. Okay. This is the perfect sight line to Deirdre's room. Okay. Now we just wait. Yep. We just wait. Well, you better like your own company when you're doing PI work because you do spend a lot of time with yourself. And it's really not good to sort of slack off or not off because you might miss something really, really important. But you would know that because you've done a lot of surveillance. Well, in the PI, maybe you can teach me something now. Is that her? It says that dear John just picked up a negligee downstairs in the boutique. Oh, Jason, this is going to turn out to be another cheating spells case after all. A woman does not rent a room and buy a negligee to pass along the company secret. She is definitely meeting a yeah, lover. Why, okay, why keep it a secret from her business partner? According to Spirit's file, Deidre is, is not married, so she's got nothing to hide. I know, but what if she's meeting a married man? Or woman? I'm, I'm just saying, I leave all moral judgments to the client. Me, I'm just gathering my facts. We'll get you. <laughs> to Shh, get the next out of here. I love my camera. It takes really good pictures. Look at the zoom on this. I can see the elevator button. Get out, or I'll call hotel security. Excuse me? You're sizing up which room to break into. That's how they do it, you know. I saw a documentary on cable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I guess that's how it looks, though. <laughs> oh, Frank. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this is this is my fiance Frank, and we are getting married, and we're just we're looking for a place to have our wedding. Do you think the Metro overcharges? Because I think it's pretty great here. I was kinda thinking this could be perfect. Or maybe we could go to the Cosmopolitan, but I don't know, it's not as elegant over there, and I was just thinking, you know what, we can't afford it. Don't skimp on your wedding. Do it once, 
do it right and make it last a lifetime. Sorry about the mix-up and good luck to you both. If you maybe the client forgot her pajamas, is that possible? No, it's not possible. When you forget your pajamas, you wear a T-shirt. You don't go to the boutique and spend twelve hundred dollars on a peignoir set. Uh, what? Peignoir. It, oh, forget it. Just trust me. Okay. I didn't always have to come back to who's sleeping with who. I don't understand why everything always has to be about sex. Unless you are meeting a lover.